Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thanks again for joining us for our awesome video series here about layout and model building in XSlice. I think we're on video number seven by now. And uh, what we'll be doing in this video is continuing our um, our study and and learning how to create models in X lights but before we get into building mega trees which is what our video is on today today's sponsor is the pixel pro display sequence club when you join the PPD sequence club you get one awesome well sequenced professional sequence PPD sequence as well as a number of PPD preset effects you also gain access to our members affiliate discount program which has discounts from a number of our affiliates such as Boscoyo Studios, Jadeshans, Wizards of Wire, Crockett Fantasia Lights, Wired Watts, Extreme Lighting Displays, Holiday Sequences, Showstopper Sequences, Pixel Sequencing, CCL Controllers, Holiday Lighting, Twisted Decals and more. So if you are looking to save thousands of dollars this year alone on your RGB and and hobby builds you've got to check out the PVD sequence club save yourself thousands of dollars and join the club which is the only club that will pay you back for being in the membership let's get right into this uh, this this kind of uh, it's easy but challenging to understand uh, model of the the mega tree now uh, it's gonna sound a lot like the the matrix videos if you haven't watched those I'm going to go through a little bit more of the same information but the idea behind all of this information is to really get you the ground information the ground knowledge and be able to pull it together uh, so that you can build your own if you are so inclined to do so uh, so what we're gonna do we clicked one time we'll go ahead and click and uh, oh I guess I didn't so click one time um, I clicked and dragged my mouse doesn't like me I guess there we go <laughs> there is a mega tree now the first thing you're gonna notice it comes in the 360 degree variety uh, and that if you look over here to the left it says type is round there is an option to change this you can change this from round to flat to ribbon um, if you leave it at round you notice that there's 360 degrees here this is an option that you can come in and let's say it's only gonna be 180 degrees half of a tree and you just click on it there and made it perfectly into a, th a 180 degree tree if you don't want it as 180 degree, maybe you want it as a 220 degree tree well X lights is awesome and it kinda does that for you if we click into 3d and we go in here look look it actually wraps around the back side for you you know so it's that's kinda cool that's kinda cool um, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and set this up as a 180 degree tree because that's usually what most people are going to do um, unless you have a special circumstance that you are on a corner you can buy certainly uh, certainly by any means you can make this number whatever number that you'd like uh, some of the other options are a flat tree and that just puts the pixels straight up and down it makes it look a little bit more matrix like and then finally we have a ribbon tree if you are using strips and your you have the strips all lined up on the ground on the same line and you lean them back the one in the center is going to stick up the tallest so this would give you a little bit better representation of what your exact tree is going to look like in your display if that's what you prefer so I'm gonna go back to the round I'm gonna go back to 180 now the next thing that you're going to notice is we have a couple other options we're going to skip over these options here because I'm not going to do anything specifically special with this with the spiral wraps the bottom to top ratio the perspective I'm gonna leave this alone uh, we're just building a mega tree and I want to keep it nice and simple and I want to get to the basics of building your mega tree so it fits in your display so it is built the way you need it built and you can connect it to your controller the way that it needs to be connected to the controller so from this point what we're going to do is we're gonna say we have number of strings we have 16 strings and then here's the nodes per string which is 50 and then finally we have strings per strand now if you watch the other videos I call this the zigzag so right now we have 16 strings of 50 pixels and one string per strand or one string going up and down and we can verify this by clicking the by right clicking and selecting node layout we can click and drag this out nice and big and we can see 
Uh, typically, the default is to start on the bottom left of the tree. That's right here, the start location where the first pixel is. This is very important. Uh, the default will always start on the bottom left. You, you may start on the bottom right. You may start at the very top, or you may start on the very top right. It is up to you. A number of people do put their controllers at the top of the mega tree. They have concerns about people walking through the yard and messing with uh, cords or stealing controllers. Um, but I've never had that happen. Uh, you really don't hear much about that happening. But uh, but the other thing you'll notice, what's really nice about this screen is this tells you the name of the prop. Um, it's displayed as a tree. Uh, it tells you what the string types are. It tells you total nodes, 800 nodes and it tells you how tall it is which is 50 pixels tall. So the other thing you're going to notice is this blue and then this green color here. The blue and green signify that these are separate outputs on a controller. In other words, it's one continuous string per color. A continuous string of blue, that's the first column here. It says node node uh, string 1, node 49, node 50, N50 stands for node. This is the green string, string 2, 44, 45, X etc etc and then uh, it, you know this goes on to string 16 and all the pixels north of that so we're going from left to right and bottom to top and that's how the models are built now um, today uh, it, it, many many people used to build their mega trees exactly like this and uh, back in the early early uh, 2000 or I want to say the early 2010 2011 2012 pixels were ridiculously expensive and uh, buying a 800 pixel mega tree was ridiculously crazy to do it cost you 800 bucks for the pixels and then it cost you another 200 for a controller then it cost you another you know 50 or 60 bucks to build the controller uh, now you have to put it on a pole and get it up there and make it stand up and that was another hundred dollars worth of hardware at the hardware store well um, the, the price of a mega tree back uh, in the early uh, 2010, 11, 12 uh, for pixels was ridiculously overpriced. And this made it so hard and so challenging in order to make, uh, to make these trees. And uh, you're looking at roughly $1,400 or $1,300. You put a star on top. It, it got more expensive as you did things. And, of course, it is expensive today. But we don't see near the prices of pixels because they're so much cheaper now. Um, so that's why you see this 16 by 50. This was the standard pixel tree size. Now let's take into consideration that the uh, the the tree, the mega tree that you may be building, is going to be 100 pixels tall and it's going to be 32 wide. Roughly, that's one of these trees times four. That's 100 up by 32 wide. This is 16 wide by 50 up. And so what we're going to do is we're going to rebuild this mega tree so that you have two strings per strand. We're going to build it with 32 strings, that is, but only 16 outputs. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some changes here. And you're going to see as we go and look at the node preview how things change and how XLight sees them as. So if we go in here and we, we're going to leave this, this is a 16 channel convert controller and we have 100 pixels off of each one. I'm sorry, yeah, 100 pixels off of each one and we zigzag or we go up and then back down one time. This is this isn't going to be 32. This is going to be this is going to be 1600 pixel tree, not 3200. Um, if we zigzag up once and down once, we change that to a two, and now you can see we've changed it. So if we right click and we look at the node layout, you're going to see some differences. So this is a 1600 pixel tree. It's 50 pixels high, and we can tell right away it's a little different than our original because now when we scroll to the bottom here, we see node one string one and it goes all the way up to the top to node 50 just like it did before but now we're folding that string in half and coming back down if we scroll down here it says node 100 string 100 so basically what we've done is we've taken 100 pixels moved them up in the air 50 and come back down 50 and then we repeated that 16 times across the entire tree to 16 strings at 100 pixels per string now that's awesome, but we all know that some of you are going to go even bigger. And therefore, what we'll do is we will make this a 
16 pixel or a 16 output tree with 200 pixels on each string and so now the difference between this between what we're going to do and what you see right here on your screen is instead of one zigzag going up and then back down we're gonna have two more zigzags that are blue going up down up down and we're gonna share that port controller data with more pixels per output. Now, uh, if you have a controller like the Falcon, it's more than capable of handling such a task as this, but there are some controllers that have a number of limits. Uh, for example, the E682 can only control, uh, I believe, uh, what, 2,000, 2,400 pixels. And if you put 32 pixels on a mega tree here, it's not going to work, not the way that you think it's going to. So with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and leave this at 16, 16 outputs. We're going to put 200 pixels on each string. Now it's going to be a lot more tall, to top to bottom dense. But now we're going to fold that string or zigzag four times. So now if we right click and we look at our node layout, we can see instead of every other one being two colors, uh, two, uh, the blue and then the green, now we see this is all blue all the way across here. We can also see we have 32 total nodes by 50 tall. Okay, uh, so we're folding it, we're going, we're actually going, um, what is that, 32 times? Oh. Maybe I made a boo-boo. I did make a boo-boo. You know why I made a boo-boo? Um, because I only went 50 tall. I, I actually want to go 100 tall. Um, so how do we how do we work that? How do we how do we figure out that we go up 100? Uh, so simply, let's go ahead and close out. And we want to go up 100 and down 100. Well, now if you look at this model, this is really dense. This is 50 tall by 32 wide, I believe. Um, let's go ahead and change this to 2 and so now you'll have 16 strings of 200 pixels on 2 per output and now if we go look at the node layout we're at 3200 we're at 100 tall and 32 wide so this is 2 this is string 1 and string 2 going up and down so if we come down here you can scroll down and see node 1 string 1 node 200 string 1 so this is the start and then the stop now most people who are doing this may power inject at the 200th pixel and that would be important for you if that's something that you're going to be doing uh, by all means if you were doing a 5 volt pixel you're definitely going to be doing some power injection at 200 pixels um, and dimming them down I'm, I'm pretty certain uh, and then you can see here, this is one output here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, we know it's 16 because we put in 16. We know that we have 16 outputs. We consider this as a 16 output number, the number of strings that we're going to be placing on the tree. So this kind of makes it easy, especially if you're using some modern pixel controllers. It's a little more challenging uh, if you're using some of the older controllers, but there are ways that you can do that. And I just wanted to walk through how to do all this. So I think this is a pretty good um, way to get things rolling with your mega tree. Uh, by all means, a 3200 pixel mega tree nowadays is going to cost you quite a bit of money. Make no mistake about it. You still have to buy the Boscoyo strips or or you have to hang them one way or another. And not only that, you've got to build everything and push it all together. If you build a 3200 pixel count mega tree, you are doing fine for yourself. It's going to look fantastic. And also all of our PPD sequences are going to look great on it because that's what we sequence on them on. So folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video today. If you did, please make sure you hit the like button. There is a subscribe button on the bottom right of your monitor right now where you're viewing this video. Please click that subscribe button so that you are always in the know with what PPD is doing. There's a bell for notifications to let you know when we have a new video out. And finally, folks, if you found this content helpful and useful, please consider signing up and supporting Pixel Pro Displays for one month with the Sequence Club. PPD offers so many things to its members, but not only that, we're here to help out the community and we love doing so. So please join the PPD Sequence Club if you haven't done yet so. Also, finally, folks, we have a fantastic Facebook community that you should totally join by looking for 
Pixel Pro University on Facebook. And uh, it's a hell of a group. We keep absolutely zero pixel intimidation going on there because it's really hard to learn some of this stuff and it's frustrating. So thank you for watching, folks, and we will see you in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and me. Sam, and every time it rains, it rains. And hold the